I love to sail, and there's something else I love to do, and that's eat good food. And this is a ship's bill, and it signifies it's time to eat. And it's so important to keep crew fed well, because if they don't get fed well, they want to be mutinous. <laughs> Let's eat. Welcome to another episode of Cooking Full Tilt with Captain Rick. Here we are in beautiful downtown Naples. We just sailed in with Elf, and I have my first mate here, Carly Sargent, and we're going to cook up a storm here shortly and go sailing. Okay, now that the girls and uh, a crew are up on deck, preoccupied with taking the sails and furling them and getting the uh, boat ship shape, I'm going to be making up a new uh, recipe today that I think you'll enjoy. It's my scallop mountain. I take uh, my scallops and very carefully uh, make sure they're clean and then I like to take and uh, let them soak for about an hour in lemon juice and lime juice combined. And I also put in a little bit of my favorite wine from St. Michael's Winery, my Long Splice wine. Long Splice is a combination of Cheval grape and Chardonnay grape that uh, is a real nice blend that I enjoy. Uh, I like to cook with it. I like to have a little sip of it as I'm uh, making up things, especially on a hot day. So it's uh, always fun. So when you're in St. Michael's, Maryland, uh, please stop by the winery, get a bottle. Try some of the uh, different samplers. You'll absolutely love what they have to offer. And uh, while you're there, ask for my good friend Courtney. She'll take excellent care of you. As I said, I clean the scallops, make sure they're nice and clean and fresh, no shell, no uh, debris. And then I take one entire lemon and squeeze one entire lemon over it and really make sure I get a good squeeze. Then what I do, I take one entire lime and I'm not just talking the quarters, I do a whole lime and a whole lemon uh, in here and get a good squeeze. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there, they're a little tough to uh, go on the palate, but uh, this is a neat little uh, item that takes and squeezes them well and catches all the seeds. And then another step I like to do, as I said before, I like to add my long splice and here we just take a, a few little dribbles and let it come up and let them soak nicely. Then I'll set this back on ice for about an hour. So I have to do this a little bit in advance of the actual cooking and eating and that type of thing. So I get down and do this while they're cleaning up the deck and doing the sails. So after that's all ready, they can relax. I can do the finish on this and uh, voila, we'll have a meal fit for the king. One of my little secrets is I like to take and roll my scallops on uh, a plate with uh, a good dusting, a good healthy dusting of this potato mix. I prefer the potatoes with garlic, and this is one of my favorite uh, series of potato mixes. So we're going to do that, and I let them uh, take a moment and dry a little and roll and get them all ready to go before I set them in the pans. Okay, you see I like to take and uh, Kind of organize the uh, scallops nicely around the edge of the plate, taking one at a time. And I have a little fan going on down here because it's so hot, but uh, I'll take and organize these all nicely to uh, kind of coat them up and let them sit there and soak for a few moments before I actually put them in the pan. And you can just do this, you can play with them with your fingers, you can just do it whatever way suits you best. And uh, this is uh, one of my favorites, absolute favorite ways of going. I don't do the bread. Uh, you know, people that are a little gluten intolerant can't enjoy them, so this is a good alternative. So here we go, we're just getting them all out. And these are beautiful ocean scallops that are fresh today. So I think you're gonna absolutely love these. So we're getting the last little rascal, including all of the uh, little crumbles. They're gonna cook up nicely. But when I take and put these in the pan and get them all set to go, I like to be careful to set my bigger ones in the center where the heat is hottest and the smaller ones toward the edge. These will cook in no more than four minutes total cooking. I usually cook about a minute and a half to two minutes on one side, check them, flip them, do the other side, 
and voila, that's it. I do add the extra juice at my last moment, and that makes kind of a gravy to put on top of my scallop mountain. And my mountain is made up of the instant mashed potatoes also. So it works out pretty nicely, and I garnish with vegetables that add a little color, add a little crunch, and a lot of nutrition. As you can see, I make up my mountain, part of the scallop mountain, out of mashed potatoes. And this is, again, my same mashed potato packet that I like with the garlic. And uh, it's real quick and easy. I mix it in a nice uh, pot of uh, water here, and it does a beautiful job. Uh, thickens up beautifully. It only takes a couple moments, and it's easy. So on board the boat, as far as I'm concerned, that's the way to go. Now, I do this ahead of doing my scallops because... This only takes a couple minutes, but I don't want the distraction while I'm doing the scallops. One of my favorite spices to use on seafood is a little bit of Old Bay, and uh, this is uh, one of my favorites from locally. And another old favorite of mine is Slap Your Mama. That comes out of the South, and uh, I'll have some of that on one of my other shows, and you'll absolutely love that too. So I just take a little dusting here, not a whole lot. Uh, you don't want to overpower your seafood, so you just put a little bit of dusting on to just give it just a little taste, and that's about it. As you can see, it's simply a dusting. Okay, next step is, uh, I've actually turned the pan off because it was getting too hot. I don't want it to be too hot at the start. I want it just right, so I'm going to place these in. There we are, I'm just getting them nice and started here. Okay, I got the pan real hot uh, to start with. They're just sizzling away and a little light uh, covering of olive oil. I like to uh, cook in olive oil quite a bit. As you can see, they're just getting started. One of the things I like to do in my galley is cook with uh, tops of the pans and skillets that you can see through. You can monitor a lot that's going on by just being able to glance in. Also, the top helps it cook more evenly. Uh, it holds the heat in, it conserves the heat, it gets less heat in the galley up here where I am, so you don't sweat to death either as much, you know. So it's, it's always a good idea to do that. Uh, you can see that we're just getting them up to speed, uh, starting to uh, sizzle a little. And uh, I'm going to give it about another minute and we're going to flip them. And you'll see what I mean. These are really doing beautifully. As you can see, I have the big ones in the center, and I'm just going to try to flip them gently. They're starting to get a nice brown crust on them, and they're a little tough to flip, so i got to be careful and uh, make sure I get them all. And these are just absolutely wonderful. You're just, you got to want to do it this way every time. When you try these, you'll just say, where did he come up with that recipe? And that's my little secret. Okay, another two minutes, and we're ready to go. This is one of my favorites of favorites, and uh, as you do it a few times, you're going to be doing the same thing. You're going to just tell yourself, got to do it this way every time. You can make a few little changes if you like a little more lemon, a little more lime. Uh, you can adjust those. You can play around with a little more or a little less wine. But do it the way I do it with the potatoes. You'll, you'll find that that makes a nice gravy. It makes a, a beautiful presentation. And you're going to see Scallop Mountain just to die for. We've done the two minutes, two minutes. And here we are taking them off. And they've got their little bit of gravy kind of going on here with the potato. And they're just perfect on both sides. And I'm going to serve you up my favorite Scallop Mountain, along with some great crunchy vegetables. It's time for the meal that uh, you've all been waiting for that I think you're just going to love. So here we have the, the mashed potatoes on the bottom. We have the scallops on the top and around. I like to use a lot of citrus, so I have extra lemon next to uh, the scallops, so you can squeeze whatever you'd like on top, or you could also put some lime on. We have a little bit of... Um, uh, the snap peas, uh, some shredded carrot for a little color and nutrient, and of course I love my uh, red peppers, and uh, gives a little crunch, gives a little more nutrition, and a good balance to the diet. So bon appetit, and of course we got to have a little bit of our long splice wine. So enjoy every bit of this at home, on the boat, or anywhere you so choose. Uh, there's nothing like a meal on a boat. 
watching the sunset. I uh, want you to check our website for the uh, recipes. I, I want to challenge everyone to come aboard Elf and uh, try to uh, cook uh, a good meal aboard. Also, you can go to WBSBN, Base Sports Network, and uh, see all the other episodes we've done. And uh, you can check us all the time at CYRG.org. Thank you for joining me today.